What's going on guys? It's Tom over here at the Renegade Racing Channel. So what we got going on today is we got a 30, 2013 GMC Savannah. The theft deterrent system has been activated on this truck. Um, how that usually happens is, you know, battery low, uh, the battery discharges itself, the battery is dead. Um, you disconnect the battery to replace it or something of that nature. When this happens, the unit will not start. A lot of people think maybe the starter is bad or something like that, but that's not the case. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how to reset this thing. Uh, first thing I like to do is I like to hook it up to a secondary power source. So I always run jumper cables in my truck because you have to have the key on for an extended period of time and this could kill the battery again and start you all over again and you're just going to keep chasing your tail. So went ahead and hooked it up to my truck. As you see, I got jumper cables running from the battery to battery. So uh, once I did that, first thing you need to do is get in the vehicle. All right. And you need to turn the key on and try and start it. All right. So I've already did that. So once you turn the key on and you try and start, it doesn't start. You let the key pop back. All right, leave it in the on position and it'll continue to say service the de de deterrent system. And you see right here up in this corner, this little lock is on. All right, as you see, it just went off. You have to leave it on for about 10 minutes. All right, sometimes it takes two or three times to do this. We're gonna see right now if it'll start, turn the key off, try and start it again. It did not start, all right? so. And then again, it will illuminate service deterrent system. All right, so we're gonna have to leave it on for another 10 minutes. All right, sometimes this takes three to four times. It, it, it all just depends. But make sure you hook, have it hooked up to another power source. And then uh, once it resets itself, every 10 minutes, once that lock goes off, try and start it, you know, and then uh, if it don't start, try it again. Um, and then just keep on going with it and it will reset itself, you know, no doubt about that. Just uh, make sure that you have it hooked up to a secondary power source. I'm gonna get back with you here in a minute as soon as I'm able to get this thing started and uh, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of it. Thanks for watching.